Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Wicked Sensations ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Very excited to install this ROM as I've heard some very good things about it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, you're going to want to click on the link in the description of the video below. Doing so will take you to this website right here. Um, as you can see, it's a Team Venom ROM, Wicked Sensations. Big shout out to my good friend, Dazed and Confused. Big shout out to him, he's been a themer, but uh, this is his first ROM, so I do want to give him a big shout out and congratulations for putting this out. I'm very excited, and as I said, I've heard some very good things about this ROM, so let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, it is based off of FB22 TouchWiz ICS, so let's go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, gives you some screenshots, information about the ROM, uh, credits and such, um, but let's go ahead and go to downloads. You'll see downloads right here. Click on this Wicked Sensations download link right here, so click and download that zip. Um, that's pretty much it. We are. Uh, that's all the, the only download you really need, unless you need one in a sec, but... Uh, that's really the only download you need, so transfer that over to your device, either your internal or external storage. Once done there, you can go back to your phone. Once you have that ROM file on your phone, we're actually going to need to install the EL26 kernel. As a lot of you guys know it, it is also uh, just basically the Clockwork Mod 5 repack kernel. It needs to be a gingerbread kernel that you flash this with, a gingerbread recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and flash it with Mobile Odin. I'm actually flashing the EL29 kernel that's repacked with Clockwork Mod 5. I can link to that in the description of the video. You can use Mobile Odin or Odin to flash it, or you can install the EL26 kernel, however you guys know how to. Um, whether it be Flash CM7 or any other of those good methods. So it's up to you how you guys want to get to it. But I'm going to use Mobile Odin. And I do have, as I said, the EL29 uh, repacked kernel with Clockwork Mod 5. So I'm going to go ahead and select kernel, internal SD card, and it's called EL29 Direct Boot Clockwork Mod. I can link to that in the description. You'll see I also have the EL26 uh, Clockwork Mod TAR right here as well. But I'm going to use the Direct Boot EL29 kernel. And I'm going to hit Flash Firmware. Continue, check, and there we go. So it'll go ahead and flash that uh, EL29 repacked kernel, and it's going to automatically reboot me into Clockwork Mod, actually, which is why I like flashing this one. It will be Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, which is what is needed to flash this ROM. So make sure you have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, and you are not on an ice cream sandwich-based recovery. Make sure you don't have an ice cream sandwich kernel when you flash this ROM. So here it is, Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7. Um, let's go ahead and install this ROM. All right, so the first thing you need to do is press volume up, volume down, volume up, and you'll see back menu button enabled. We need that so the power button will work. So the first thing I recommend doing is you can make an Android backup under backup and restore if you'd like to. You don't have to, um, but you need this clockwork mod to restore whatever backup you do make. But once done with that backup, we're going to need to wipe everything. So make sure you have everything backed up, your apps, contacts, etc. Go to White Data Factory Reset and hit Yes. Delete all user data. As I said, this is going to delete everything, your apps. So make sure you do back them up via Titanium Backup or whoever you guys like to. Once done with the Factory Reset, go ahead and hit Wipe Cache Partition. Hit Yes, Wipe Cache. Once that is done, go to the Advanced menu and hit Wipe Delvic Cache. And hit Yes, Wipe Delvic Cache. We're not done yet. Hit Go Back, go to Mounts and Storage. And then hit Format System. So go ahead and hit Format System and hit Yes. Format System will go ahead and format that. Hit Go Back and do a White Data Factory Reset once more and hit Yes. And just make sure everything is deleted properly. Um, and once uh, that is all done, we are ready to go. So go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose it from SD Card or Internal SD Card, wherever you have that ROM zip itself. Uh, it's called Wicked Sensations ROM.zip. And then find it, select it and hit yes install wicked sensations rom right there so go ahead and install it we will see it will load on up and do its thing team venom uh, so there we have it there i'm going to go ahead and let it install be patient with the install process it'll take a bit of time but i will be back once it's done all right so the rom is done installing the venom has been injected you're about to experience some wicked sensations so uh be ready there um, but once done installing we are ready to go hit go back and then reboot system now. So that would be it. So that is all that needs to be done to install this ROM. So of course you need to make sure you're on a gingerbread based recovery and then we can go ahead and install the ROM and it looks like it's booting on up. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation. All right, 
Got some uh, nice music to this boot animation. Very cool there. Nice, uh, nice boot animation as well. Um, got some gears inside the Android guy. So there you have it there. I'm going to be doing a separate review video, so you're definitely going to want to check that out. I will link to it in the description of the video. Um, so be sure to watch that. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.